Start with a big spin to the beginning. Classic main spin. What up team, we're back for another spin go episode. We got crushed last time, so we're back. Looking for revenge. Looking for revenge, man. It's sweet, sweet, sweet revenge. Let's go and start with a big spin to the beginning. Classic main spin. <laughs> uh, you know, that's the reason, like, if you play, like, a 5 euro spin and the min spin is 10 euros, like, why do, why would you even play it, you know? At least it, it would be that way for me. So I gotta fire up those 25 euro spins. Take it down. And I think it should be plus V in them. I mean, obviously there's a lot of variance in them. Since it's that short. But, what? I think people are really bad, you know? I kind of like his face. Like, his profile picture. The parrots and the sassy. He just jams it, okay. No. You should like we note this in the back of our head. Um maybe just had pocket threes there, but it's like slightly more like it's more like that he's just a bad player. And jammed it there for twenty-five. Alright, everybody's even. <laughs> I think that is a fine start here. But if he jams again he will be trapping like really wide. I'm be putting on the bat. Like he just doesn't have much here on the flop usually. Ooh, back in the chip lead, guys, if he's good. <laughs> the chip lead is so real. Uh, I'm still in Berlin as you watch this, as you watch this guys. Basically, my brother was playing some poker. A lot of poker, actually. I'm only going there to play poker. But I mean, if I make day two of the October fest quite early, I have two days off, actually. Because like there's flights on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, I think. I have to look at the schedule again, but you know, if I if I have like if I manage to build a stack in the first day, then I can just relax the second day, which would be obviously the best outcome. I could have just checked the flop here. We have a like love back to equity plus the, as well as the king high, which can easily be the best hand. Gonna be checking on the turn, making a straight here in the river, and gonna be value betting here. We're gonna be tanking a little bit though. I think he usually has some piece of the sport. And he will call here on the river if you tank a little bit, but 42, we get the call from the 9. He champs. It's not so cool. Um, he has 8, 7, 9, 7. It's not that much. Hmm. This might be a bad call. <sighs> People are just not bluffing enough there on the river, I feel. Fuck. No, it's like a spot where I'm a little bit disappointed where I could find a fault for sure. I think I talked about fish the last episode, and exactly, you know, that's like a fishy car. I feel like, oh, I have a straight heads up. Can't really fold. In a spin. But yeah, we should be able to fold that. God, these min spins are brutal, dude. Brutal, brutal, brutal. This is fucking rigged, baby. Like, the thing's like, you know, like, 8, 7, I mean, yeah, it's 7, 9, 7, check 10. It's a couple of hands that beat us, you know, and when we, I mean, he shouldn't have too many bluffs there, you know, usually he has a 6. But he's really jamming at 6. Maybe this was a really, really horrible call. Should be a little bit more focused, man, which is us 25 euros there. That was just a bad call. Um, two, three suited. I'll be falling again. Would have been a sweet flop though. Back to diamonds. Bottom two pair. But the turn would have made it kind of tough. What does Prasic have? Really weird. Play here throughout the hand. Maybe something like, you know, like King 4 or so. 6-5. Well, that's one way to not get much value. The other guy caught with ace high. Right, then he starts to fish for this click. Alright, we caught. Pretty good flop here. And we check. I will tank you on the turn and put out a bet. But he does the same thing for us. 
Um, I'll tank a little bit, then call. Try to wrap something like King High here. So nobody has DS Queen. I mean, we gotta think of like what we are going to bet here. Maybe like something like 100. Got a call from the Queen. I think Cham is also fine. Tough spot there, tough spot to get very like what what the best play for value is there on the river. Tough freaking spot. But yeah, I'm excited for some live poker guys in Berlin. Like I, I've never played live poker for us as I had and I think it's really interesting, you know. I heard a lot of good things about it, a lot of bad players, you know, table conversations, table talks, sounds interesting and like fun. But obviously there's also like a lot of down, so it's for example, for me, like the tells will definitely be a thing. Um, you know, we'll read th through some forums and stuff and see how I can like react and do things. We get clicked again here. This time we're just ripping it in with the tens. And caught by ace four off. Well, that's one way to play the hand, man. Let's hold. All right, all right, okay, all right. We will win the spin now, guys. Okay, we are not going zero in five. We are going to win this. Let's make it happen. 8 9 suited is actually. Is this a call? Yeah, it is a call. Ah, he blocks all the suits, but the flop's really well. Really, really good. Let's hold. Nice! Okay, okay, guys. We win the spin, guys. We win the freaking spin. Oh, it feels good. Oh, it feels good. <laughs> Come on, no min spin. Unbelievable, dude. How many min spins can you spin? That's the sixth in a row. Maybe even more than that. Feels bad, man. Number three got calling here with these ten. Ugh. Disgusting over call. You could have just chanted it as well, you know. I don't know if you should have a three bed folding range here, but. Maybe you should just sham our entire hands. We have an open ender here, gonna be checking the flop. And ripping it. Alright. Boom. <laughs> Queen 10 over call. I'm not sure what the best player on the flop is, once again. It's actually a really interesting flop. I'm going to review. I'm not playing my best poker here, but. <laughs> It's, it's working out, guys. It's working out. He's a friend with the 7 4 suited. It's a nice hand to be check raising here on the flop with. It's a retry flop that you will see that way too often. Alright, and once he calls our raise, we're just going to check and give up. And hope he had like 4 or 3. <laughs> but everything that King 8 does is a bot, he will just see that like 100% of the time, you know. So when we have like backdoor diamonds and some backdoor straight draws, I think. It's a good candidate to be raising there. I think we float here. It's a pretty wide float, I know. Then DS4. He's thinking about it. Checks it. Hmm. Do you want to bet here or check? I mean, betting is fine, you know, checking is fine. I will check one here. Picking up a gutter on the turn. Putting out a small bet now. We'll get some value from like 6 7, 6 4, and diamonds that he picks up. Maybe some queen highs even. Alright. Is some suited? Blinds going up in under a minute. Then things will get more interesting. I'm going to. I will just check it here. If you raise him, um, you're kind of in a, like. I don't really want to get 30 in, in the pre. I mean, we should be like doing okay. But it just plays much better. If you flop an ace, you know, he doesn't expect us to have too many aces. So that would be nice. I'm going to be checking the turn again here. 
so that our A-side can be easy best hand. Obviously check's not the best card, at least it's a hard. Interesting river here. Is he very betting a check here? I don't think so. I think we want to bet ourselves and get value from the check. Hmm. This is like kind of awkward now. I mean he checked the flop so he has the 5 a decent amount of time here so I guess we're just going to fold. Deuce of hearts man, what a dirty river. What a dirty river, be even now. But I think it was the correct bait of the ESFC. We could have led a little bit bigger there. Some like 15 stuff, like 36 of what I bet there in the river. Just to make it less likely for him to be bluffing. Once he raises us. Yeah, I think that might be better. Might be a better line. Aces, gonna be limping it. He hasn't been like icing our limps much, but... There we go. Alright, I will play like a little bit exploitable here and re-raise. Check and flop here. Betting turn. I should have check again. Now we fire up bet here on the river. If he champs, I would call. Alright, alright. It was a nice part to be that one there. Oh, raising me again, the flop. Bet again here on the turn. I just don't think that with 17 big blinds, how often is he limping an ace, right? Alright, I just give up now. Oh, yeah, he had to check. I'm not sure if he folds a check, that's like the problem with my race. Since he has 17 bigs and limbs, I have a champ on my aces. So it was a fishy re-race on my side. I'm not fully focused today, guys. I think like this fucking thing with my disc space. Got me a little bit tilted there in the, in the back of my head. Because that was a really bad bluff there. Which is not a good spot with the check, you know? Like, I mean, we couldn't bluff the flop, at least. I mean, don't, we don't, even though we don't wrap much, but we shouldn't be bluffing the turn there. Especially when you get some equity versus some... Nah, he champs all the hard draws on the flop. So yeah. I'm calling him. Not happy, not happy about myself in that one. Limping to 10-7. Once again, it goes for the tank. We're gonna check it. Most likely, we are going to chop this hand, but maybe we can, like, throw him off a chop. So we will do it here with the turn bet. Nice. I mean, we could have added a sand there, obviously, with the ten high as well. I think we have to do a decent amount of time. Hey, we're getting a little bit wrecked here, heads up. Played better before, guys. I played better before. I didn't see better flop P8, and like it just hits the defending range too much. I will fall to a pot size there on the turn as well with our mana. Down to 15 bigs, guys. Not cool. And he takes it again. Gotta be limp calling the S8. Home chiming is obviously fine. But I like to trap you with Ace 8 plus. So actually if we trap you with the Ace 8 we should trap with the 8 as well. Yeah. So maybe we shouldn't trap with Ace 8, maybe only with Ace 10 off plus. Especially like with him he hasn't raised as much, like the only time he like I stood our limp was once and then he called our four bet as well, or three bet. Are we betting the flop here? So yeah. You shouldn't be trapping super much here with him. 
So we don't need to be trapping him with ace 8, you know, if there's a guy that champs everything, we should obviously be putting that in our trapping range. But he's not that guy. And I'm flop flush draw. Gonna be raising... Actually, we can just jam it, we have 17 bigs. Alright, let's get there. In the club. Or check. That's a club, baby, that's a club. Alright, getting lucky, you're getting lucky. I like getting the, I like getting lucky. I like it. Alright, success suit we all in. We are flipping here for the victory. We have a lot of outs here. Not that many anymore on the turn, but we get there. We get there. Alright, we got lucky in the heads up. What do they say? Play bad, run good. And that's what we did right there. Hope you enjoyed the episode, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. I will be back soon from Berlin. So stay tuned for stream highlights. Thanks so much for hanging out. I see you on the field. Good luck.